I'm Brandon and I've got Jen with me today and we are here to welcome you to the best beginner motorcycle gear for 2022. To all you new riders joining us today, welcome to the world on two wheels. If you're anything like us, your new hobby may quickly become your new lifestyle. We've been riding and testing different motorcycles, products and gear for years. And we're excited to combine our expertise with knowledge and feedback from our community of riders to present a collection of gear for both men and women with a focus on the important considerations for riders just getting started. In terms of style and versatility, we focused on gear for general street riding. There are many types of motorcycles and riding styles to choose from, but street riding is the most common. So we went with gear that will look at home on any kind of street bike. Lastly, motorcycling can be a little bit expensive, especially when you're first getting started. So we made sure each individual item on our list came in under $200 while still maintaining safety as a top priority. The first thing on the list and arguably the most important piece of gear is your helmet. And this year we chose the HJC i10 coming in around $150. Now, helmets are very universal and not specific to any one gender. That's absolutely right. If this has pink flames and I want to wear it, I'm going to do so. That's right, Brandon. Follow your heart. <laughs> I will, Jen. I will. Now, we recommend a full face helmet like this because it's going to protect your jawline and face along with your entire head. Also, the face shield cuts down on wind noise and protects your eyes from road debris and inclement weather. This helmet actually features DOT and Snell 2020 safety certification, which is impressive considering the price. The other thing I wanted to note, the ventilation has been improved from its predecessor and it's relatively lightweight, weighing in just at three pounds, nine ounces in a size medium. And the lighter the helmet, the less neck fatigue riders will experience, which is great for new riders because they're simply not used to wearing the weight of a motorcycle helmet. The i10 has an intermediate oval fit, which is a bit more elongated front to back than it is side to side. This is the most common fit for the American market and should work well for most riders. That's right. Now be sure to check out our How to Size and Buy Helmets video to find out what helmet shape, type, and size is the right choice for you. All right, let's keep it moving and talk about the next piece of gear, which are riding jackets. And for the men, that is the Revit Win 2 jacket coming in around $200. Motor jackets are a bit different than your everyday jacket. They're usually far more protective. They can provide impact protection, abrasion resistance, and they have reinforced seams. They may also have other features specific to riders, like a tailored fit for sitting in the riding position, pops or reflectivity for riding at night, and a whole lot more. But like your everyday jacket, they can still provide excellent style and protection from the elements. The Revit Win 2 jacket is a lightweight, universal mesh jacket designed specifically for those riding months. The mesh construction is key because when you're all geared up and the sun is being down, you'll want every ounce of airflow that you can get without sacrificing protection. The Win 2 jacket has two color options and a fit and style that should work well for a variety of different bikes and riders out there. Its fitment is somewhere between a more aggressive kind of svelte European cut and those roomier American cut options that you'll find out there on the market. Revit reinforces their chassis with abrasion-resistant 600D ripstop nylon in key impact zones. The Win 2 utilizes C-Smart CE1 impact armor included at the elbows and shoulders. This is less bulky and more comfortable than previous styles of armor. We would recommend adding the Revit C-Soft back protector into the back pocket to get complete impact coverage. This jacket is going to be a perfect option for riding through the spring, the summer, and into the fall, depending on your region and where you live. And while it may not be the most ideal option for the winter riding, it does tick a lot of boxes for folks out there just getting started on two wheels. And Jen, I think we talked enough about this particular jacket. What do you have next for us for the female riders out there? So for the female riders in the audience looking for a more American cut, check out the Olympia Eve to women's jacket coming in around $200. This has been another go-to option for many riders looking for a jacket that provides excellent versatility at a great price. The Eve 2 features a 600D abrasion resistant outer shell with a cool mesh lining. You'll also find CE2 armor at the shoulders, elbows, and Olympia includes a CE2 back protector as a standard offering. A great value add that is pretty rare. That is a great value add because not every manufacturer is including that. There's even a rain jacket included that can be worn on the inside or the outside of the jacket and having ridden in a lot of rain over the years, the Over Under Rain Liner is an awesome item to have because even if you're using it for a brisk morning ride or an evening ride, it does help with the versatility. Yeah, and the last note I wanted to make, if you're looking for something a bit more fitted or Euro cut, check out the new Dainese Savia Airtex women's jacket. It's also right at that $200 mark, and though it doesn't have the same versatility as the Olympia Eve 2, I still think it's another excellent option for female riders who are just getting started. I do like the clean and simple style of the Savia jacket, but yeah, you can't beat the Eve 2's versatility. It's, uh, it's gonna be tough. But, all right, let's move on. Let's talk about our next category, which is gloves. And this year, we have one option for both men and women, and that is going to be the Reacts Tasker perforated gloves coming in at $79. 
Now, gloves are something every rider should be wearing. It's our body's natural instinct to put our hands out in front of us to brace for impact. Moto gloves provide protection should your hands meet the road. And for that reason, we like the Tasker gloves for our beginner riders, not only for their level of protection, but the Taskers are also very comfortable in a stylish glove at a great price for any bike that's on the street. Yeah, the Taskers use a cowhide leather on the back of the hand and a goat leather on the palm with a little pad insert to help combat the vibration of your motorcycle. Now, that might sound a little gimmicky at first, but it definitely helps to dampen the engine's vibrations. Also, there are rubberized inserts on the fingers and knuckles, which provide impact protection. These gloves are touch tech capable at the finger and thumb, so you can use your smartphone or GPS without removing your gloves. For men, the Taskers are available in both perforated and a non-perforated version. Women have a perforated option only. All versions work well for cool to warm weather riding conditions, but not something you really want to utilize in the cold winter months. Moving right along, let's talk about pants, specifically riding jeans. And for this year, we've gone with the Bullet Tactical line, and this is our top pick for the beginners out there for both men and women, with prices ranging from $130 to $170. Now, riding jeans are not your everyday pair of pants. You'll find materials such as Kevlar, Dyneema, or polyethylene included to provide riders with specialized abrasion resistance. And many of them have pockets for additional pieces of impact protection. And despite all the protection, they generally look no different than your everyday pair of jeans. This year, we chose Bullet's Tactical line of riding jeans. And if you search Bullet Tactical jeans on the website, you'll see many options with many different names. It's important to know that the Tactical lineup offers the same great features and construction across the board, but with different fits and colorways for both men and women. So you can simply choose what cut you're looking for, choose the color you like best, and you're good to go. From a protection standpoint, Bullet uses a single layer of stretch denim, which is less restrictive and more comfortable when riding. The denim has Kovic fibers blended in, which provides CEAA rated abrasion resistance, and the unfortunate event, you go for a little <laughs> slip and slide across the tarmac. Bullet includes pockets at the hip and adjustable pockets at the knees to easily and comfortably add in the armor, but they do not include the armor. And generally, I like having the armor included with the riding jeans, but at this price point, I can easily give them a pass as it's only about 17 bucks for the set. So there's one final piece of gear you'll need to complete your moto ensemble, and that is motorcycle-specific riding shoes. We've got a few selections for both men and women, ranging in price from $120 to $190. When you're riding a motorcycle, your feet are constantly being used to hit the brake, to change gears, to stabilize yourself when you come to a stop, all of that activity is so close to the ground, which makes your feet and your legs prone to injury. The protection of riding shoes and boots will keep you safer than riding in a regular everyday style shoe. Now, while there are boot and shoe options with premium levels of protection and functionality for dedicated types of riding, we've opted for casual riding boots and shoes that provide adequate, moto-specific protection with casual style and walkability for when you're off the bike. If you're a bit of a sneakerhead like Jen over here, the Fulton Air riding shoes are a great option, made of full grain leather with reinforced sole, heel, and ankle cups. Great for warm weather, but they do offer a waterproof version as well if you need a little bit more versatility, all with a casual style that won't stand out in a crowd. But if you're looking for a classic boot look, we recommend these street and steel Oakland boots because they offer a reinforced toe, heel, and ankle cups with a full leather main construction and a breathable Hypora waterproof membrane. Now, for the lady riders out there though looking for a women's specific riding shoe, look no further than the Dynasty York women's shoes. They've got a shifter pad, rigid inserts for ankle support, are super comfy, and I love this style. I could wear these all day on the bike and comfortably walk around town. And they come in two different flavors, a perforated air version if you plan to spend most of your time riding warmer weather, or if you're looking for a bit more versatility, they're offered in a waterproof version as well. And that is gonna wrap up our top picks for the best beginner gear of 2022. We made it, but don't forget, we've also put together gear guide articles on Common Tread that provide greater detail on every category across motorcycle apparel. There's a lot of great options out there and you'll get to read about other selections that deserve your consideration for 2022. And don't forget to check out the detailed breakdown videos for all the picks you've seen today. And after that information overload, if you're still feeling unsure as to what gear is the right choice for you, don't hesitate to reach out to our customer service team. They're well-versed in the world of motorcycle gear, and they'll be happy to get you pointed in the right direction. So for myself and Brandon, I want to thank you for watching this video. Keep it on, too. Keep it pinned.